Thank you for watching this video. In this channel, you and I will be reviewing different cars and learn at the same time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider joining us. If you are a subscriber, please click the like button. Thank you. Hi everybody, thank you for returning to the channel. Today, I'm going to review the Suzuki Espresso. Espresso is a small subcompact crossover that can sit 5 passengers. It has a 1 liter K10B engine which is the same as the Alto and Celerio. The Espresso starts at 518,000 pesos SRP and comes with only one variant in the Philippines. It has four colors, namely sisal orange, fire red, metallic granite gray, and metallic silky silver. According to Suzuki, the Espresso is bold, athletic, robust, vibrant car that will help you take on the world and make your mark. Now let us find out if that is true. Let us start from the exterior. First, in front you find some plastic bumper and more plastic in the grill. There's a silver or chrome Suzuki logo and halogen headlamps. And the headlamps are gripping design for a strong aggressive image. You don't find any front sensors nor any fog lamp. In front, you will find the front grille with trapezoid motifs. The Espresso has 180mm high ground clearance. With its unique proportions inspired from Suzuki's iconic SUVs, the Espresso stands out as it explores the urban jungle seeking for adventure and finally place a mark for yourself. Going to the side, the side body volume has been pushed upwards to give high visual center of gravity and the square like wheel arches enhance its stance and sporty side. The strong character line adds to the car's bold persona. You have a turn signal right on top of the front fender and you have a side mirror which does not have any extra turn signal and the door handles match the color of the body and there's a gas cap that can be opened from the cabin now going to the back we have the rear combination lamp that is c-shaped and it is designed for instant recognition it also has reflectors espresso emblem and the suzuki logo emblem and right under the emblem you can find the keyhole for opening the trunk there is also a top mount brake light and there is also a small spoiler on top the espresso comes equipped with rear or backup sensors and it only has a single tip exhaust the full wheel cover has a powerful trapezoid design which adds to its uniqueness to its styling. Now let's talk about the interior. The interior of Espresso is mostly made of hard plastic. Let's start from the door panel. The door panel is made of hard plastic and you find the speaker, door pocket with bottle holder and an armrest on the left side. Near the A pillar, you can find the manual control for the side mirror adjustment. And on the left side, you have the aircon vent. And right below that, you have a lot of blank buttons. And below that, you can find the food release and the gas cap release and the trunk release as well. The steering wheel is a three-spoke design which has the Suzuki logo at the center in chrome. It doesn't have a steering wheel button or control but it has an airbag on its sides it has the turn signal and the headlight control and on the right you have the windshield wiper control this variant doesn't have a push start button so it has a physical keyhole going to the center console it has two air vents and the instrument cluster is located at the center as well there's a digital speedometer and a tiny LCD screen right below. There's a 7 inch touchscreen infotainment that doesn't support Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And also uniquely, the power buttons for the windows are located at the center as well for the driver and the passenger right below that you have the manual air condition system and below you have the 12 volt aux and usb port 
for your audio system. And right below the 12 volt, you have front console cup holders. This car comes with five speed manual transmission and also manual handbrake. On the right side, you have the passenger airbag. And right below that, there is a open tray. And below that, there is a glove box. Now, let's look at the rear seats. The rear seats are bench type and they cannot be folded separately. It doesn't have any cup holder or armrest. The rear seats come with manual window controls. The only feature in the rear would be the rear console pocket and it is a bench type that can be folded for extra luggage space. The Espresso comes with a spacious 239 liter luggage compartment. In the trunk, you can find the trunk cover and also the spare tire. So Espresso has this 1 liter petrol engine that has 67 horsepower and 90 newton meters of torque. The Espresso is aerodynamic and its new generation hard tech platform delivers enhanced fundamental vehicle performance and its TECT total effective control technology absorbs and disperses the energy in the event of a collision. Espresso also comes with ABS with EBD and its rear parking assist system is one of the only safety features. Now looking at Espresso in other countries like India, they come with blue color and they also come with fog lights or LED lights or it could be the daytime running light and also comes with different color accents in the interior. They also come with automatic transmission and also come with chrome grills. Other features include steering mounted audio controls and also infotainment system or touchscreen that has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. In India, you even get a smart play remote, an app for your smartphone to control some functions in the car. So what do you think about the espresso sold here in the Philippines? I think we deserve more options, but if that happens, it will increase the price. With 518,000 SRP, I think it competes with brands like Jack S1. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you everybody. May your dreams come true.